Hello. So it's been a while since I've uh, done any playmaker tutorials and lately it's been a lot of activities in my channel for for playmaker and someone messaged me privately um, asking specifically how to how I would make the quickest way of doing mouse over and uh, away and enter and click to for example spawn something and destroy something and just to give a quick reply to Dishonored, uh, since that's the guy who asked me the question, uh, is uh, you know what's the quick, quick, quickest way I would make something and remove it, make something and remove it using the mouse button. Um, now this is based on not knowing your whole system, and this is not a complete system, but this is one way you could approach it. So what I did was basically I added a new FSM and in that FSM I have nothing in the in the beginning uh, state I just call it startup and I just added the for state and I just called it the over away clicked and not clicked and in, in over I right click and I go add global transition system event and I went for mouse enter and I did the same for the away state where I right click global transition system event and uh, mouse exit and I did the same for the other two where I picked mouse down and mouse up now for the mouse down I also added create object and I made prefabs called uh, the Thailand troop and I drag in the troop which is the sphere that I want to create when I click with my mouse down right it's not clicked at the moment but I'm not removing it until I take it away from the square it says over away clicked not clicked right and then I have a spawn point which is uh, above which is where I spawn the ball so if I put the spawn by spawn point down it would uh, spawn a bit weird that's because the sphere's uh, pivot point is in the middle right if I choose not to have a pivot point or I mean a spoil point it's gonna go for the middle if I choose to have the tile as the spawn point it's gonna choose the pivot point which is in the middle and again we're gonna end up with the same situation that's why uh, I have a spawn point and that spawn point I try and place above somewhere so it spawns on top okay normally you want to have it um, 0 0.5 if you want it to have exactly spot on over with a proper shadow and everything now I also store the information in a variable called troop and when I have it under a way state I have destroy object and I pick in, pick the game object troop if I the reason for that is if I take away the store object and let's say I go for let's say I hook on this and I just drag in the prefab troop and I then I click play and I click and I go away it's gonna crash the reason for this is it's deleting something that doesn't really exist because I dragged in the true prefab it doesn't actually exist and when it does exist it doesn't actually know which one I'm asking for and that's why I have a variable called troop so essentially what I'm saying in this variable which is a game object type I'm saying when I start and I click you'll see that it says down on the bottom it says value troop clone so it's made a clone it's storing the clone which is a prefab and when I remove it it's still crashing why is that well because when I'm deleting I'm still deleting the prefab even though I have a new clone and copy to solve that we choose the variable troop and you'll now see when I click play 
it's storing this new troop sphere that I've created, which is originally a prefab, but it's a clone because it's in the game now. And when I take it away, it's deleting it. And as you see, it now says none. If I do it again, you'll see it says true clone, none. And that's why I have a, a variable. And that's kind of what what you're aiming for. And that's what you start with if you want to have, you know, um, mouse down and up and down and spawning and removing troops. It's hopeful. That was useful. Um, keep coming to my channel. Keep asking me questions. And when I have the time, I'll, I'll try and answer more. See you around.